CBS Monday. Roll forward, does all me three four mark Kai Should Q. Des Moines City government merge with Polk County? Five, five, supporters five, five, are trying to convince a skeptical public. Five, five, Two five, people five, died when a commuter plane crashed into Ready, a Missouri six, neighborhood. Five, six, why people on the ground say this accident could have been roll much six, worse. Five, six, and we'll show you why CY Ready, Stevens Auditorium camera camera names has been Curtis named Iowa's mine. Building of the Century. Wipe camera one and Jason. Ready camera three and both mics. Take three both Join us for news channel at noon next. Go black, take two, start two, sound cool. You don't want Do you have a headlines bar, Adam? Oh, okay, yeah. You're watching no, KCCI, no farm, Channel 8, Des Moines. I missed it. I didn't hear you. Sorry about that. That's fine. News leader. Okay, stand up on the floor. Ready to roll four. Set the dog. Super Doppler. Uh, four sound full. This is KCCI News Channel 8 at noon. Roll four. Does all four sound full? We Brandon all know Mikey that Q. if you can reduce duplications, it's a direct way to create savings and tax the dollars. Cube. Supporters are merging Des Moines and Polk County governments, making a new mics. push for their push. side. The debate mics is cube. over whether or not the merger can Ready save money and make local government more efficient. Take five. Under start five. The story take five. Sound. Under one out to the newsroom. Next, set to solve on three. Camera four. How do supporters say this can all happen? Does all the media? Well, the group vote yes for unity. Says that will happen through eliminating administrative layers and costs. Supporters held a news conference this morning to outline their ideas. Former state auditor Richard Johnson and community activist Bob Mickle says there are several areas areas where Polk County and Des Moines can cooperate and merge services. Those include areas like emergency dispatch, dispatch systems, sharing equipment for law enforcement and information Camera one, you're technology. Box two. Ready, roll four, Under the merger four, proposal, sample. Des Moines and Polk County would be one governing body represented by 15 elected people. A full-time mayor would also be elected. Roll four. Does all four sound full downstream? It will allow the uh, Spon, we have another consolidated here governance this one's 30 seconds. to speak out with one to voice. See it. We'll be out to ME3 have next, one vision, and then we'll go to the double boxes, and, and then we'll be swing more in economic to development camera one, which will be ME2 box. Because that has been the experience of the Ready, ME3 other and, communities uh, that have already done oh, wait, it. They're on. saying downstream. they can do something that 15 other communities in Loose this country spawn. who tried to right. do it could Ready, ME3 and, uh, now, Michelle. maybe they have a secret formula, but I'm from the I'm from Missouri. I want to know. I want to see it. Take ME3. Now that was Ned Chido, who's with the Vote No merger group. He points to a book written Ready, by two Iowa State boxes. professors who did a case study of several communities, saying in many cases mergers have not Take worked. Take ME1 double box. Ready, swing. Ready, ME2. Swing. In other news, this noon hour, Cedar Rapids okay, is preparing for next. another visit Ready, from five, President five, Bush. Five. This morning, the President and First Lady under. left Medford, Oregon, and where yesterday train. Bush told crowds that Senator John Loose Kerry is too far left of America's political spectrum. The president will speak before a crowd of supporters at a Victory 2004 rally in Cedar Rapids at the U.S. Right, Cellular Center this that's afternoon. Six From there, the president will head to Wisconsin. Senator Kerry will also be campaigning in the Bay Area State today. Dissolve six Last seven night, seven Kerry uh, and his running mate John state. Edwards held a rally at the Iowa State Fairgrounds here in Des Moines. The next, Democratic ticket Fox portrayed President Bush is out of touch beat, with lives of the middle class Americans, before. adding the president, they say, doesn't have a record to run on. He has a record to run away from. Iowa is Ready, one of a handful of battleground states being targeted by both campaigns in the final weeks before the election. Take any one. When the crime beat, Ready, a city jury four, returns under. to work on roll Monday four. to decide take if a man under. convicted of Down five stream. murders should be put to death. Yesterday, Lose the jury found 35 year old Dustin Pumpkin guilty of murdering five people in connection with the federal judge case. Iowa has Ready, no death penalty, Sheila. but Honkin faces capital punishment because he was convicted on federal charges. Then we'll go to Honkin's take trial five. is the first death penalty Ready, trial in one. Iowa in more than 40 years. Take me one. Cass County supervisors say they're getting roll close five. to naming a new prosecutor. A judge removed Down the former street. Cass County attorney James Barry from his Lose conduct. County supervisors say that they've interviewed beat. six different Robbery applicants plea. for Barry's old job, and they plan to have a replacement Whoops, named by October 25th. The appointment uh, will serve yeah, until you're, voters you're elect good, a Roger. new county attorney in November oh, of 2006. Oh, Sorry, ready, me too. Take A me woman two. who helped foil a bank robbery is ready, now upset bullet, with bullet. prosecutors who plea bargained with a suspect. Sarah Childers helped police catch 17-year-old Benjamin two, you're Paul a bust. after he We're robbed the, the first next. central state bank in LeClaire, which is near Davenport. Prosecutors charged Paul with first-degree robbery, but agreed to reduce those charges in exchange ready, for his confession. Childers says people who rob banks shouldn't get plea, plea bargains oh, like that. Take two, Sheila. A West Des Moines psychiatrist uh, is in Robert trouble Mitchell for sexually a exploiting a female patient. Background. Authorities have charged 60-year-old Gaylord Nordine who did one. so on Wednesday. Take one. The woman Gosh, was a patient it. for 14 years. Camera and two, you're back to a box, and then we'll have the Iowa jurors She's also OTF. filed a right, civil suit. Just a bust. Now, a board of medical examiners found ready, that the doctor violated doctor-patient boundaries by having a sexual relationship. If convicted, Nordine could face up to five years in prison. 
take their seat. That was Supreme Court order to delay naming replacement judges so they can save some money. The order signed yesterday by Iowa's Chief Justice focuses judicial districts not to begin the replacement process until six months after a judge is set down. The exception would be made for districts where they only have one judge. This order comes two months after the Iowa Supreme Court ordered clerks of court's offices to close once a month to save money. Iowa's best architectural building built in the last century is C. Rice Stevens Auditorium in Ames. Downstream, camera one, go to the cave, one of five next. Jurors compared the best examples of architecture from the past century and chose the one that best exemplifies artistic merit and cultural significance. Roosevelt High School in Des Moines was also a finalist. A new exhibition at the State Historical Building will honor the different structural works of art. She Prairie Meadows ups the ante to uh, prepare for table okay. games. Yeah, the right. Iowa Prairie Racing and Gaming Commission says Prairie Roll Meadows six. is on schedule for expanding gambling. Downstream. Prairie oh, Meadows now seen okay. plans to hire 175 next, employees we'll to one and add those uh, table games by the middle of December. Earlier this year, Iowa lawmakers voted to allow table games at the state's three horse and dog tracks. Ready, camera it's three. Friday take afternoon. Three, a lot of people are thinking ahead to the weekend, starting one. with high school football Roger, games tonight. Here, Meteorologist Jason Parkin in the Weather Center. Grab. What's it going to be like? Well, bring those layers along because it will be chilly school tonight and really a cool Ready, weekend net. overall. Outside right now, live net. information is coming in from our school net sites. It's 53 degrees in Ames. <sighs> Iowa Falls is at 48. Look at Algona, 44 stills degrees. Stills we have some cooler uh, air working into the northwestern part of the state. We also have a couple of raindrops in our yeah. neighborhood. Our live Super Doppler rate radar network Sweet. showing those. Just a few sprinkles in eastern Iowa. Those are sliding off to Ready the south grab. and to the east at this hour. Your weather headlines include, well, we'll talk about your football Friday forecast, continued cool conditions, and we'll talk more about rain chances. We'll do all that in your five-day forecast. All right, Jason, thank you very much. And back to news. As an early morning construction accident in Milwaukee, sent two people to the okay, hospital. The construction your, crew was working on a new convenience store near the corner of Highway 28 and Beardsley Street in the goodness. north end of Norwalk. Firefighters say just before 7.30 this morning, two workers Ready fell two when a Sheila. piece of equipment collapsed. One of the workers was injured so seriously he had to be flown to a Des Moines hospital. The other man was transported by ambulance. Take a close this call is just for a reader. train we'll be storm liquid rolled over a and propane we'll go to tank a yesterday. Police say someone stole the tank and put it on the tracks. Ready to pan the, the tank bus. exploded off after the two. train hit it and pushed it down the tracks. The blast did not damage the train or the tracks. Panda bus is off camera two. A deadly fire Ready kills a woman and her grandson in southeastern four. Iowa. The blaze broke out yesterday under. morning in a mobile Downstream. home in Washington. The victims one, are 55-year-old Sandra Loose Harrell and her 9-year-old we'll grandson to Taylor. Four other people escaped without any shot. injuries. Heat and smoke kept the firefighters from going back in to save two victims. Firefighters say the heat of the fire plus gusty Ready, winds made it hard to put out the blaze. Take one it's been a deadly Ready, week on five, Iowa roads, five, and now another roll central five, Iowa community is dealing with a deadly car downstream. crash involving teenagers. The accident happened Loose yesterday spot, afternoon on Highway 92 near Martinsdale. A car with three teenagers pulled out from a stop sign into the path of a pickup truck. Authorities say the crash killed 15-year-old Caleb Strabel of Martinsdale. Another passenger, Whitney Card of Cumming, was flown to Mercy Hospital, where her condition isn't being released this afternoon. The driver of the car, Taylor Ready, Hamilton of Van Meter, is in good condition at Mercy Hospital. The driver of the pickup wasn't injured in the crash. That investigation continues. Take three both mics. The a commuter jet crashed into a quiet Take Missouri neighborhood overnight. As hey, Kelly Cobiea shows us this six, afternoon, the pilot radio full. in the emergency, then crashed between two houses in Jefferson City. Roll six, dissolve six south full. The Pinnacle Air and Jet missed downtown Jefferson City by Loose just a few fun. miles. Instead, filling okay. this neighborhood After this, with the smell of jet fuel two and Sheila. burning metal. I heard a big uh, thunder and boom. Please it was ask. just after 10 Thursday night Next when one, neighbors Ellen. heard the first sounds of trouble. Ellen it was really weird noise, Super. and it was like a couple Loose shotguns. Okay, we got Kyla even. coming And in I next. looked outside to see, and I actually saw something come down. But then the next thing I saw was a big, it exploded. The blast shook the entire neighborhood awake. Okay. Super. Loose fun. We got Mike Smith coming in next here. I tell you, it was scary. It was just nothing but smoke and flames. I mean, I thought it could hit the house. It missed the house by a hair, damaging sure the building, the but sparing yeah, people on the smoke. ground. The 50-seat jet operated by Memphis-based okay. Pinnacle Airlines was Pretty empty, okay. but for the pilot and co-pilot, both died in the crash. They were flying to Minneapolis, Minnesota from Little Rock, Arkansas, the when they next, started having engine the trouble. Floor. Investigators say they tried to make an emergency landing at a nearby airport. It's too early to say why the plane exploded okay, before Mike. they could get That's it to right. the ground. The yeah, flight report has straight. been recovered, and they have it in hand. Blue spot. Um, okay, Kelly's our last one. is a key Coming component the to their package. investigation. Which but now close. they will need to look at all the debris. Police cleared out a three-block stretch of the neighborhood up? to oh, collect debris and protect that, evidence uh, from the oh, crash. Thanks. 
The National okay, Transportation okay. Safety Board Sheila. is leading the investigation. No word on when it's expected to conclude. Kelly Kobiella, CBS News, New York. Take two, Sheila. And one Ready day before four, their big game under. against Big Ten rival Ohio four, State, under. a Hawkeye running Down back street. has landed the in bump jail. Is next. It's be Iowa City five, police six. have arrested Marcus Simmons last night four, for driving without 11, a license 11. and for driving without five, six, insurance. 11, Roger. Police pulled him over after spotting Jesse, him driving on a moped. The moped did not have a flag and he also had a passenger on it as well. Earlier this year, Simmons lost his license after a drunk Ready, start driving clip, arrest. Take your no word yet on about how the arrest under, will affect his playing status Ready, with the team. Start clip. Take your aiming clip under. Roll five. The holy month of Ramadan is off to a violent start. Ready, Coming up in the news at noon under. next, see why Muslims in Iraq have their guard up. Roll six. Five, the six only six thing more crazy about a Ready, guy parasailing behind a car is the age of the guy soaring above the ground. We'll show next. He's not quite Ready a guy, black, is he? And we'll show you why many doctors see osteoporosis is reaching crisis levels in America. We'll be right back after this break. Go black, take two, start two, sound full. Thanks, everybody. KCCI. Oh. You're watching KCCI right. News Channel 8 Stand at noon. Stand on the floor. She Iowa's will talk news here. leader. Six at the, with Ali Cooney. Uh, Marcus McIntosh and meteorologist Curtis Gertz with exclusive live what? Super Doppler weather. This is KCCI yeah, whatever. News right. Channel 8. Over roll 6, does all mean 36 sound under Q. Just like last so year, the start of the religious lines. holiday of Ramadan has begun with Zoom. violence. Does all mean 3 both flex Q? The holy month of Ramadan Roger. is a time of worship and contemplation. And loose for race starts clip, take But the violence today in Iraq under, begins our look clip, at headlines from around the world this Friday under, noon hour. Seven people were wounded in an attack on a police convoy. Two police cars were destroyed in the explosions caused by the car bomb. A crater five feet deep was left behind. The attack comes one day five after bombers next. breached security in the so-called green zone, killing another five people. Ready to roll five, Violence five could continue Sheila. through Ramadan, which doesn't end until November 14th. Roll five, A five strong earthquake has shaken the country of Taiwan. The, the ground in Taipei shook for more than a minute while the after quake measured 7.0, damaged buildings and injured some people too. Surprisingly, there were no cases Ready of wi four, widespread damage or even casualties. Scientists have warned Ready, people four, in Taiwan four, that several aftershocks could continue to make things move for days roll to come. Four, four, a young thrill-seeker's curiosity Rob has earned him the self-appointed title of the youngest parasailer six. in India. The four-year-old boy grabs a rope <gasps> behind his family's car, mm. his dad hits the accelerator, and the preschooler mm. sets sail several stories above the earth. That doesn't look safe. He got interested in parasailing after seeing it on TV. Somehow, he got the okay from his doctors that one. this was yeah. a good idea. Yeah and his dad taught him how to do it. Take one, Eric. Well, you don't have to be a Credit singer to sticks, realize how important, important your voice is to your job. Dr. Malika Marshall shows us a new surgery that helps restore voices to people who struggle to speak. Roll six, take six, sound full. At the scene uh, of the fire, Roger. Boston area fire chief John Green hey, baby, has to be to able to that. communicate Respond. with his crew. Okay, the next one comes in at 34. At the end of this, it's going to be the bump. I just thought it was It'll like be, a, a clip know, store sound under with the camera one. My first um, sense of time until 34, Roger. I was constantly trying to clear my, my throat. Uh, Jesse, what John camera had turns out to, to be cave. something Jesse, called papillomatosis, the clip be a condition under, caused by the same under, virus no that causes then, uh, warts on the talk. skin, but in this case attacks Here the comes, voice box. Uh, uh, if Dr. left untreated, Ramon. the respiratory tumors could grow and eventually block the airway. Basically, the virus infects the cells, and Based unless you remove those Malika cells, there's no way of getting rid of it. Downstream. Until recently, most patients with this condition had to undergo major Loose surgery. That's it for but now Boston Dr. Dr. Ramon Franco perfected a new treatment, which CBS kills the cells using a pulse dye out. laser. It's going to go right through here, and it goes to the tip of the scope. The pulse dye laser has been around since the, the mid-80s, and it's the Stop treatment of choice for skin blemishes that are red. It's new to the field of ENT and laryngology because no one's ever used it on the vocal folds before. And we can see on the vocal folds down here, there's a lump. That's the area that we're going to attack now. And in some ways, it just gets blasted off. In under 15 minutes, the lesions are completely gone. And after okay, just a few days of voice rest, it. John's Take voice went from this couldn't work without his voice. to this. Good as gold. Dr. Malika Marshall, CBS News. Start clip. Take me clip one under. Open Jason's bike. Start your pull one. We have a very cool five-day forecast. Says all we'll talk graph. about rain chances, too, coming Does up. all the weather graph. Ready to go black. Take a start to the pool. Go black. Take two. Start two. Sound full. I have right. this message. KCCI right, Storm uh, Team Jason 8 Bynes is your only team of four Bynes. certified meteorologists keeping you safe 
under an umbrella of protection. Dissolve A2, Jason Q. We have chilly temperatures across central Iowa and even cooler air moving into the northwest. This is a live look from our downtown sky camera. A few peaks of sunshine out there, but that will probably be uncommon, especially as we work toward the evening hours. 54 now, we have partly sunny skies and northwest winds at 18. We will see a breezy afternoon and evening, so be forewarned if you're heading out to a football game tonight. The dew point, 41 degrees. Pressure is steady now. 29.59 is the current right. reading. Let's head to some of our SchoolNet sites. This is live information coming in. Hey, Belmont at 48 degrees. Brooklyn at 49. Rockwell City and Knoxville are at 51 degrees. So all in all, a very cool day across the state. We do have some showers in the area, and we'll Great take a look at our Viper it. computer. An area of showers off to our southwest across portions of Nebraska and Kansas. These There's are moving off to, to the southeast. Also some showers around the Twin Cities and a few in northeast Iowa. In fact, it looked like a new sprinkle had popped up just to the east of Fort Dodge. All this activity is pushing off to the south and to the east at this hour. Here's the way it looked at the yeah, International Airport this morning and Cloud Tracker uh, starts off at around 9 o'clock, takes you through the 11 o'clock hour. So again, we did see oh, those peaks quick. of sunshine, but it is a breezy <laughs> and overall a very chilly day out there. Algona and Fort Dodge are at 48 degrees Excuse right me. now. Sioux City's at 47. And this is we where will have a bump another at the shot end of, this of cool project. air is coming Ford. from. Council Bluffs is at 50 degrees and Ottumwa out ahead of the cooler air at 51 degrees at this hour. Your regional satellite and radar picture, a couple of disturbances, Jesse, one off to the northeast, one to the, the southwest. It'll be and again, Eric's it looks like we'll be in this cool pattern through the weekend and by the end of the weekend, another shot for maybe thunder. a little bit of light rain as we work our way into Sunday. <clears throat> Predict your computer model starts off at one o'clock today. That chillier air pushing in from the northwest. And again, there's that reinforcing minute, shot of that precipitation looks to stay out to the northeast until we work our way into the day on Sunday later in the day when we may see a raindrop or two. So here's your forecast for today. 53 degrees the high. It will be breezy this afternoon and this evening. Northwest winds at 15 to 25 and again, in about the northeastern quarter of the Sheila's state, a chance for here, a shower Jesse, or two. So Football Friday night forecast. There goes the gang in the school bus right there. Before a chilly the one. Again, breezy conditions tonight. Kickoff temperatures in the mid-40s. Again, an isolated shower in the northeastern part of our viewing area. Overnight, the low 32 degrees. Wind chills will be down in the upper teens and low 20s. Northwest winds at 10 to 20. Five-day forecast uh, for those of you heading over to Iowa City. Look for a He's kickoff clear. temperature there. Probably in the mid-40s. We'll Campbell top out in the mid-50s over we'll there, so it will be a chilly one. day. Clips and for Iowa there. State fans, if you're going to Boulder, you'll enjoy it. Temperatures there in the 60s tomorrow. 59 Sunday, a slight much. chance of rain late Sunday into Monday. Tuesday looks nice. Start your push skies and a high there of 60. Dissolve camera one. Boy, it's Ray too starts cold. Yeah, it's weird. It was kind of a big change. One clip of store sign on it. Ready to roll four. It always is every year, I think. Thank never you. can get used to Thank it. Thank you, Jason. Right, America may be in for an epidemic of broken forward. bones. Still to come on the news at noon. This. We'll show you why. Ready to go black. Take Stay two, with start us. two full. Go black. Take two, start two, sound full. Time on this pack. We have two Kelly Kilday packages today. We still have a minute, 10 left in the break. Does off camera three both mics cues in. Welcome back to News Channel uh, 8 at noon. Uh, the U.S. Surgeon General warns by the year 2020, nearly half of all Americans be at, may be at risk for broken bones. As Kelly Red Cobia five, shows us, the Surgeon full. General says that's because osteoporosis or bone loss is on the rise. Start five, take five, sound full. Oops, Fast sorry. food, uh, bad diets, and a lack of exercise are at it again. Americans' bad uh, habits are taking a toll on their again. bones. Everyone I know that's over. 55 or 60 have it. Including uh, Patricia Filicomo. It Dr. is osteoporosis, Richard bone loss, oh, okay. and it's costing Americans $18 billion a year. My, both hips are replaced, and uh, that's the only thing so far. <laughs> Hopefully there won't be anything else replaced. Americans' bones are in a brittle state, according to the Surgeon General's first ever close look at bone health. 34 million Americans are at risk for osteoporosis. In another 15 years, half of all Americans over 50 will have it. 30 years ago, Doctors thought weak bones and osteoporosis were a natural Please part spot. of aging. 
But today we know we can do something about them. Does she have a stand up? Part of the problem? Too many okay. Americans are passing on dairy products like milk and yogurt and on the vegetable aisle in favor of the high protein, low carbohydrate craze. The result? Not enough calcium and vitamin D. Another problem is perception. Osteoporosis Delphine. is not just a woman. And many men Ooh, don't realize that. In yeah, fact, rough. the Surgeon General's yeah, yeah. report found that yeah, for every yeah, man yeah. diagnosed with osteoporosis, yeah, there are days. another four yeah, who don't right. realize they have it. I, I never even considered that. I'm, you know, I'm worried about, you know, Is a heart this? attack, high cholesterol. So how do you beat it? The Surgeon General says it's the same old formula, a healthy, balanced diet and All right, regular ready, exercise. Both mics. Kelly Cobiella, CBS News, New York. Take three both mics. And we'll be right back with the final look at the forecast. Go black, take two, start two, sound full. Okay, I'll get back to our clip. The zombie one clip for sound full. Set the solve weather graph as soon as you get done there, Adam. And the all the weather graph, Jason Q. Get ready for Route a chilly football one Friday next. night. Hawkeye fans, it will be a well, rather blustery day in, in Iowa City tomorrow. Sets off camera one and all mics. Thank the you, Roger. There's all mics. Sunday, slight chance of rain late Sunday, and then bring in your close guard music again, Jesse. Sets us all again. Have a great weekend, guys. Sets all the meat three. Make sure to watch News Channel 8's first news at five for the latest in weather. Ready to go black and master it's yours. Thank you, Roger. Go black. Thanks, everybody.